Hi guys, welcome to Friendly Advice. I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so urgently and click the like button and give me a thumbs up. I need all your support to make these videos, okay? So today I'm gonna make Bharva Bindi in air fryer, okay? So you might have seen a lot of videos on um, making Bharva Bindi in the pan but today I'm gonna to make it a healthy version in the air fryer. So let's get started. So to get started, first I have taken these bindis. So I found, uh, I happened to find them really small ones, as you can see in, uh, which are nice and green. Small sizes are the best, okay? So I washed them, dried them, and then cut them lengthwise, okay? and. I did that last night while I was watching TV. So now I'm gonna fill them up, okay? So I'm gonna do the first thing, I'm gonna put all my masala. So I've taken out my masala kit right here. It's all there for you. And I'm gonna take a bowl and do all the masalas, okay? So the whole idea of this video is more about cooking in air fryer, but I'm going to show you the masalas that I use for my bindi, okay, to basically to fill the bindi. So first of all, I'm going to take some, uh, so I'm making this bindi for four people. So I'm, I'm going to add, the chili is to your taste, okay, how much ever your family wants. You need to put more of the coriander than maybe the double the amount you add the chili, then you add some jeera powder and you add about half a teaspoon of haldi and you add salt to taste. So depending on your family, how you like it. And I recommend adding more dhania powder. And another thing that you wanna add is uh, mango powder. So it's called amchur. So you can, that will give a little bit of tanginess to your bindi. Or if you don't have I'm sure you can add chaat masala, that will do the same trick, okay? So you gotta add that and you gotta add your hing. Um, the hing, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it in English. It's a bit complicated name, a soft fatida or something like that. So you gotta add that in there. So. Your bin, you digest the bindi well, okay? So that's why you put the, that in there. After that, you mix the whole, all the masalas nicely. And then you gotta add this mango powder. Make sure you, you know, press it a little bit so it gets mixed everywhere. Then you can add, some people add a little bit of oil to the mixture and some people add water. In my case, I'm gonna add water to make it a bit more healthy and maybe two drops of oil just to, you know, give it that flavor, but not much, okay? So I'm gonna add, I have some olive oil that I'm gonna add, a little bit of oil, olive oil, and I'm going to add, I mix it up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my mixture, okay? So, I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Just to, you know, the reason you do this is so you can have, um, the mixture is a little wet and it will stick to the pindi, okay? So I add a little bit of, maybe one teaspoon of water and look, it, as you can see, the mixture is a little bit wet, not too much, okay? And then I mix it up nicely. So a little wet mixture, not too much. It's still dry, as you can see, right? Now, after I've done this mixture, I am going to fill it up. And I, oh, one more thing I wanted to add is garam masala, okay? But you can add the garam masala even later. But it's nice to put it in the mixture because it, give, it will give you lots of good flavor. So I take a 
my spoon and I'm gonna add a little bit of garam masala. That will give lots of flavor. Okay. And after this, I'm gonna fill all my bindis, okay? So now I'm gonna fill up the bindi. So I got the masala, I got the recipe for the masala, right? So I'm gonna fill up all my bindi uh, one by one. It does take time, but you know what? If you wanna make some tasty food, it takes time. And you gotta spend the time to make it work. So I'm gonna take out a plate, fill up each bindi one at a time. Since I washed and cut it, it's not going to take that long. I just fill it up and it's going to stick together. There we go. One by one. We'll be done in no time. There you go. So now I've filled up all the bindi and I've put it in my air fryer. A basket and as you can see it's all laid in one layer and I'm going to put this in my air fryer right here while my air fryer is doing the windy for 10 minutes I'm going to cut some onions so I'm gonna if you have those small ones button onions you can just use them or else I don't have so I'm gonna cut these big big pieces of onion I'm gonna put some onion in my article that I'm going to make. So that's where I use the oil, okay? I use a little bit of oil. I put it in the pan after because my bindi would have been cooked by then. So I use very little pan, little oil to just, you know, get the onions done. Okay, so I have my, wash my onions and I'm going to slice it. As you can see, look how I've sliced the, the onions and I'm going to put, put it in the pan with some jeera. So in the pan, I put uh, jeera and slices of onion right there and I'm going to stir it. While my bindi is getting cooked in the air fryer, I put it with all oil, my onion. I'm gonna make it nice and brown and then I'm gonna add my bindi to it and it's gonna be yummy, very yummy. There we go. So the air fryer bindi has cooked for 10 minutes. They are still very green. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna now add them to my pan that has onions in it, okay? So I've added about three spoons of oil in there, and now I'm gonna add all the bindi in there, and just stir it together. And you will see that how good it turns out. So all I do is put the, all the bindi from my basket into the pan, the bindi are already cooked in the air fryer, so all I have to do is cook it in medium heat, mix up the onions that I have, and my bindi will be ready to go. So I still have maintained the greenness, and they are like restaurant quality. I haven't lost the color of my bindi. So this is how you cook your bindi in the air fryer. And it literally takes 10 minutes to cook because now I've just mixed the onions in there. And guess what? The onions were cooked while we were doing the air fryer. And it's all ready to go. So enjoy the healthy version of Barba Bindi. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.